Good evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, weather warnings in a number of regions in Western Armenia. Anthony Blinken and Jani Vletrain discuss situation in Karabakh, Mushfield hosting storks. The Azerbaijani armed forces have launched large-scale military exercises. Armenia participating in ATM Dubai 2021 travel and tourist trade show. Copy of P-18 site of Port Asar to be displayed at UN headquarters. Today is Bahram al Remembrance Day. The Ministry of Emergency Situations of Western Armenia warns about the penetration of cold precipitation from the North Sea region in the coming days. Due to this, strong winds are expected in Trebzon, Karin, Ven, Dersim, Ardahan and Bitlis regions. The probability of hail is high in a number of regions. The Ministry urges citizens to be more careful. The situation in Nagorno-Karabakh was on the agenda of a recent telephone conversation between the U.S. Secretary of State and the French Foreign Minister. Anthony Blinken and Jean-Yves Ledrain spoke in particular about their cooperation as OSCE misgroup co-chairs countries and emphasized the need for a long-term political settlement to the conflict. According to a press release by the Department of State, the sides also discussed their shared concern about the ongoing violence in Israel, the West Bank and Gaza and their engagement with partners in the region to bring about calm. With the weather getting warmer, the storks returned to the rural settlements around the mush field of western Armenia, where they settled in their own nests years ago. The mush field is located on the way of flying birds and is rich in wetlands and hundreds of species of birds. It hosts the heralds of spring these days. Storks nest especially in the Aradan and Karasu rivers. Military exercises have started in Azerbaijan yesterday, in which units of different forces take part. According to the report, up to 15,000 servicemen, up to 300 tanks and armored vehicles, 400 missiles and artillery batteries of different calibers, fire jet systems, 50 units of military aviation, and unmanned air vehicles are involved in the exercise. The Azerbaijani Air Force uses Turkish-made Bayraktar TB2 drones in the border areas with Armenia. At least three units of this equipment were observed near the Sunik region, Times.am reports. The demonstration of force by Baku aims to cause particular anxiety and panic in the territory of the Republic of Armenia. However, it should be reminded that by virtue of international law, Artsakh, Garmark and Nahijevan are considered an integral part of Western Armenia. Any activity in that area is illegal without the consent of the state bodies of Western Armenia. Armenia is participating in one of the largest travel and tourism trade shows in the Middle East, the ATM Dubai 2021, which has officially opened in the Dubai World Trade Center on May 16. The Tourism Committee of Armenia reports via Arman Press. 62 countries are represented at the exhibition. Armenia is represented in a separate pavilion with several local tourism companies, which introduced the country's gastro, adventure and cultural attractions. It was reported that despite the coronavirus-related travel restrictions, the number of participating countries is quite huge, which is connected by the fact that global tourism is starting to show some recovery signs. Copy of the 5.5 meters long site in Portasar, Urfa, Western Armenia, under the number of P-18, will be displayed at UN headquarters. According to the statement of Ministry of Culture and Tourism, the copy of the site number P-18, located in structure this sector, will be officially given to the UN as an art gift. The work, which will be permanently exhibited at the UN headquarters, will provide an opportunity to present Port Asar as a universal cultural heritage. Vahram Alazan was born in 1903 in Ven Vaspurakan, Western Armenia. He got his primary education in the school of Ararq. Alazan has seen the tragedy of the genocide against Armenians and took refuge in Yerevan, where he got specialized in writing. Vahram worked as a typewriter in Urartu Printing House in 1918 and in Soviet Armenia Daily in 1921. His first poem, Red Victory, was published with the signature of Gabuzian. Then his poems, Stories and Hints, are published in the press, this time with Alazan's signature. In 1922, the writer's first book, the poem The Game of the Years, was published. He was one of the founders of Avangard newspaper, the editor of literary newspaper. Bahram Alazani was lucky enough to participate in the first International Congress for the Protection of Culture held in 1935 in Paris. Troxtay's nationalist counter-revolutionary member of the group, 
Organizing the assassination attempt of Beria is sentenced to 10 years in prison on other similar baseless charges in 1946. In 1946, after serving his sentence in dozens of prisons in the Soviet Union, he returned to his homeland. However, as a former political prisoner, he is not allowed to live in Yerevan and is exiled to Ashtarak. Here, Alazan, regardless of his status and intolerable conditions, manages to establish Berch Borosian's house museum. In 1949, he was exiled to Siberia, this time for life, on the above-mentioned baseless charges. In 1954, after being fully acquitted, he returned to his homeland. But his sufferings in prisons and exiles did not go unnoticed. Bahram Alazan died on May 17, 1966 and is buried in the city Pantheon. Now I present you Sasno Gorani by Barsakh Kanachan. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.